Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Patty and I upload two videos a week. On Mondays, I make gnomes and on Thursdays, I do budget friendly home decor. So if either of those interest you, be sure to subscribe so you can come back for more. Today, I'm going to share with you this cute little Valentine's gnome in his little pajamas. You won't believe what his body is made out of. He has a little card and he also has a little card box to collect all his little Valentine's in. If you want to know how to make him, stick around. I'll show you how. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. For the body, I'm taking a 15 ounce vegetable can and I'm just going to drill some holes in the bottom of it to attach my legs. And I'm taking a quarter inch drill bit because I'm using quarter inch dowel sticks to run through this. Now this can measures three inches in diameter and it's four and a half inches long. So you just go ahead and mark exactly where the center hole of your cork is because we're gonna drill holes in our cork and that's where we're gonna drill holes into the can for our legs. Now I'm measuring them, they're two and a quarter inches apart and they're one half inch from the bottom and that's where the hole is going to be so that that matches where the hole in the cork is going to be that way it's going to be level then I'm just going to take my drill and I'm just going to drill right through those two holes so that we can attach our legs now this really didn't take long to do just drill just kind of start slowly and just kind of drill right through those holes Okay, once you got those done, I'm going to show you how I do the cork. I'm just going to take my cork, put it on the end of my drill bit, and I'm going to slowly start turning it until it goes through the center. Now, just keep it lined up, and you can make sure that you get it pretty close. It does not have to be an exact center point. Just go slow, and then just back it off. Okay, that's it. Okay, next we're just going to take a three inch ball and I'm going to put it in my can and I'm going to mark where it goes down inside of there a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and cut that off because you want it to set down inside of your can. Then I'm just going to take some hot glue and I'm going to glue the, the littler half that I cut to the bottom and that's what the legs of our dowel sticks are going to go through. And then I'm just going to glue two little nuts in here to give it a little bit of weight, just a little bit on each side. You don't need a lot of weight on this because he is going to be sitting down. Okay, next I'm just going to take some um, quilt batting and I'm just going to roll it around my can. Now I'm going to roll it around this can so it goes around it twice. So you just have to cut the length of your can and just make sure it does wrap around there twice. And it'll give it a little bit of a plush feel when you actually pick up your gnome. It doesn't feel like a tin can. And just go ahead and glue that down and then go ahead and glue it around on the bottom as well. And then just kind of trim out any on the top and then you want to glue it in also on the top part. And just kind of pull it up around the edge. I mean you can stretch this until you um, don't see your can anymore. Okay, next I'm going to take a piece of three and a half inch by eleven and a half inch fabric and I'm going to um, hem up two sides of it, the short side and one long side. And this is going to like be the bottom part of his pajama pants. And we're just going to go ahead and wrap it around with a half inch overhang on the bottom and then go ahead and glue that down with it finishing out on the end that is finished. Go ahead and wrap it around and make the finished end overhang. Now make sure you do overhang it a half inch over the edge because we are going to come back in and cut those little slits in there and glue that down to the bottom. That way it'll be nice and finished out. Now go ahead and stretch those as you do it so you don't have any wrinkles around the can. Just kind of keep going until you have it all glued in. And then we're going to cover it up. I'm going to take a um, just a regular piece of white felt. I cut it into a two and three quarter inch circle and we're just going to attach it to the bottom to, to complete the look on this. That way you don't see any can showing at all. Okay, next we're going to make the pajama top and we're going to take a 12 inch by 5 inch piece of fabric and we're going to glue down the short one short side and one long side. Okay, next we're just going to add some piping and I'm just going to go ahead and take that cord, push it into the inside there and glue that off so you don't see it hanging outside of the piping. And then we're just going to trim this whole top of this pajama shirt all the way across the bottom with this piping. Just let it overhang a little bit and then just glue that all the way across.
Okay, next we're just going to attach it to our can and we are going to bring it to the front. So make sure the other seam is in the back and you're going to overlap these in the front. And you want to make sure that you just, when you glue this down, you're stopping an inch before you get to the bottom because we're going to have to lift up the top to get his legs in there. So go ahead and just glue it down and stop an inch before you get to the bottom. Okay, and then just go ahead and glue around the top part. Just make sure the fabric is completely glued to the top there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the legs. And I'm taking two dowel sticks that are a quarter inch by six inch. I sharpen them with a pencil sharpener and I'm going to cut them off at three inches. And then I'm just going to run them right through my corks. And that's what we're making the legs from. Okay, next I'm going to take some um, air dry clay. I'm going to roll them into balls. I'm going to do two one inch balls. Just make sure that they're pretty smooth and just go ahead and push your cork right down in the center there and shape the shoe around it. These are going to be like little house slippers. Just kind of push it around, kind of push the sides in a little bit and the front kind of curve it in a little bit. And then you're going to let those dry real good. Next, we're going to take some oven bake clay. I'm just going to roll this into a little log. I'm going to use my hand mold. I'm going to roll each piece in to make each finger. And this way, the hand will turn out pretty smooth and it'll be pretty, um, it'll be pretty thick. You don't have to worry about it breaking. And it's easier to get into the mold this way. So just roll each one of the fingers out and put them in there. And then do the same thing for the thumb. And then go ahead and fill the rest of the cavity of the hand up with the rest of the clay. And just kind of make sure that your fingers are smoothed out pretty good and you can see the shape of the fingers in there to get all the excess um, clay off of there. Just kind of really smooth it out there. Okay, once you get it pretty full, go ahead and pop it on out and do the same thing with the second one. Okay, after we do that, we're going to go ahead and trim off any excess before we bake them. And then we're going to go ahead and bend the fingers down because we are going to have him holding a Valentine card. So you want to bend the fingers down before you bake them. And then we're going to take a four inch piece of wire and put it into each one of the hands and kind of um, smooth the rest of the clay over the top part of that. And then go ahead and bake them 15 minutes at 275 degrees. Okay, now we're done with those. We're going to go ahead and build the legs. We're going to go ahead and take a four inch wide by three and a half inch piece of fabric and we're going to glue down the short side and the long side. Then I'm going to put some of the same piping that I put on the pajama shirt around the bottom part of his legs. And again, go ahead and, and push that uh, cord on in there and glue it in so you don't see any of that cord once you get it all put together. Just make sure it does overhang the bottom of it a little bit. This really did trim it out nicely. Okay, then we're just going to fold it over the cork. Just go over and fold it over the cork. And then just glue down one side, which is the finished side, down the back. You don't want to glue it to the cork yet because we are going to have to push the cork out a little bit to get the foot on. And then go ahead and do the same thing with the other leg. I'm just going to hem up two sides. Go ahead and add your piping to it. And then wrap it around your cork, but don't glue it to the cork. Next, go ahead and push the cork out a little bit, and we're going to glue it to the feet. Now, put some glue in here, hot glue, but I'd go ahead and put some E6000 glue on here as well. If you're planning on selling these, make sure that you do put the E6000 glue in there as well. That way, it'll you make sure that it does stay on there. And then we're going to attach the bottom part of the pant leg to the shoe. Okay, next we're just going to cut slits in it all the way down to where the cork is and we're going to trim the excess off. Now you didn't have to start with this big of a piece of fabric, but it just worked this way for me. So I can do it a little bit easier if I have a little bit extra fabric. Once you get it short enough to go ahead and glue it to the top part of that cork, go ahead and glue it down. 
and just kind of push it in there and kind of pull it as you're going because you want to make sure you don't have a lot of wrinkles around the top part. Just kind of make sure it's kind of flat. And then we're going to go ahead and attach it. Just find the hole where you um, drilled your hole with your drill. And then go ahead and take an X-Acto knife and go ahead and push that in. And then go ahead and push the leg all the way in into the styrofoam that's in the bottom. And then we're going to take these out in a minute and glue them. So just kind of make sure you get it exactly where you want to. And then we're going to glue them in. And you're going to do the same thing with the other leg. Go ahead and cut your slits, trim off any excess, and glue that down to the top of the cork. Then go ahead and find your hole, cut it with an X-Acto knife, and then go ahead and attach your leg. Make sure it sets right, and then we're going to go ahead and pull them back out, and we're going to glue them in. And then put a little bit of glue around the top part, and go ahead and push that in, and, and then let it dry, and then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And what I'm doing there is I'm kind of pulling it down a little bit so it does set flat on the, on the table. You can play with these a little bit and kind of adjust them. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and do the beard. I'm going to measure two and a half inches across by two and three quarter inches long. And I'm just going to make a U shape all the way around up to the other side. And then I'm going to cut behind the faux fur only, cutting just the backing on the beard, not the fur itself. And then clean any excess fur off. Next, we're just going to go ahead and attach it right to the top edge of where that can is, right in the center. Next we're going to build the arms and I'm going to take two pipe cleaners per arm and I'm going to fold them in half. So you're going to have four um, thickness on each arm. And then I'm going to attach the hand with those. And then I'm going to take a five inch by two and three quarter inches piece of fabric and I'm going to hem up the short side and one long side. And then I'm going to come back in there with that same piping that I put on his jacket and on his pants leg and I'm going to add it to the bottom part of his sleeve as well. It just really kind of dresses it up a little bit. Okay, next we're going to take our pipe cleaner. We're going to run it down the raw edge of the fabric. Put two of those on there and then go ahead and glue in your wire. Now don't glue your hand in yet because we are going to have to turn it. Now go ahead and go ahead and wrap it around there and then turn your hand so that the, the palm of the hand is facing the back part of the sleeve. And then we're going to glue the hand in as well, just so that we make sure it stays in. Just go ahead and overlap that. And you want to make sure that's the finished edge and that the um, seam is in the back. And then we're going to go ahead and attach the hand to the shirt. And when you're doing these, you want to make sure that you have two thumbs that are facing forward on each hand. So you want to make sure you got your hands on the correct side. Okay, next we're just going to go ahead and bend it over the top part and attach it to our can. Now we're not going to glue it in yet, but you want to make sure that that hand is almost to the bottom of that can because we are going to bend them out and, and have him hold something. So go ahead and do exactly the same thing with the second arm. Go ahead and roll it up. Make sure that your seam is in the back. And then we're just going to bend it right over the top of that can as well. And we're going to set these aside. We're not going to glue them in yet. Then we're going to go ahead and take some glue. We're going to glue around the top part of the can and glue all that excess fabric over into the inside of the can before we add our arms. And then now we're going to go ahead and attach our arms. We're just going to put some glue on the inside part of the arm. And we're going to glue that right to the can. Next, I'm just going to fill the cavity up with some bags just to make sure if the nuts come undone, they don't flop around. Then we're going to put our 3-inch ball back on top, and we're just going to roll it on your workstation for a little bit till you get it flat enough to where we can stick it right down inside of that can. Just go ahead and push it all the way down into that can to hold those arms in, and it'll give it a little bit of um, height for our hat. We're going to take a 12 inch by 15 inch piece of fabric and we're going to fold it on the 12 inch side. We're going to come up 2 inches and cut it to at a curve to the point. This is going to be the hat. And then we're just going to go ahead and open it up with facing sides together and glue it flat. 
Okay, then we're going to go ahead and let it dry and then we're going to cuff it up two inches before we turn it right side out. And we're going to glue that down. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and turn it right side out and then we're going to put a one inch cuff on the front. Now we're going to glue this cuff in but you want to glue it towards the bottom and not the top because we are going to come back in and put a little bit of piece of trim around the top edge as well and you need it to be open towards the top so that we can get that in there. but we're not going to do that until after we get it all put together on our gnome. Okay, then we're going to take a piece of pipe cleaner, run it all the way up the length of the hat, and glue it down in the back. Next, we're going to take three pipe cleaners, and we are going to wrap them over around the top part, sticking it into the styrofoam, and glue that in. And you're going to kind of space these out around the, the styrofoam. And what we're going to do on this is we're going to stick some stuffing in between this and this will help hold it in and give some height to our hat. And then I'm going to take another little piece of um, pipe cleaner and I'm just going to add it around the top just to kind of hold it all open and in place. And then go ahead and put your stuffing in there. Now you don't want to overstuff it but you want a bunch of it in there to where the hat will um, fill up. Then go ahead and pull it on down over the top part of your um, can and pull it down in the back a little bit farther and bend your hat over. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and add my nose. I'm just going to come right up to the top edge of that hat and I'm going to lift it up and go underneath the hat a little bit and then I'm going to glue the hat to the, to the nose. And I'm just using a 15 millimeter half bead. And then just attach a little bit to the top and attach it to the nose. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add some more um, trim. Now, I didn't have any more piping, so I'm having to take some just bias tape that was the same color. And I'm folding it over twice to give it that look of the piping. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stick that into the top part of the hat and glue it in. Okay, so we're just going to wrap it all the way around to the top part there. And then we're going to glue it to the front part of the cuff. And then you're also going to glue it to the back part of the hat as well. So you're going to glue it to the cuff. And then you're going to glue it to the hat to kind of finish it out. Just kind of make sure you get it all tucked in there good. And then start gluing it in. And if you had it, if you had the piping, you could probably do that a little bit easier than this. But that I ran out of piping and so I had to resort to what I had. And for the hat, I'm just going to paint a red um, heart to hang off the hat, and I'll attach that here in a little bit. the box, I'm going to take a 4 by 6 inch piece of scrapbook paper. I'm going to score it at 1 inch, 2 and a quarter inches, 3 and a half inches, and 4 and 3 quarter inches. And that's on the 6 inch side. Then I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to score it at 1 inch and 3 inch on the 4 inch side. And then go ahead and fold all your score lines. Okay, and then go ahead and start cutting up on your score lines just to the middle part. And this is what's going to make the flaps to close the box and do the same thing on the opposite side. You're just going to go up to the score line that's at the 1 inch and the 3 inch. And then go ahead and start cutting them at some diagonals on each piece so that you don't see them once we start putting our box together. And you're just cutting up to that first line. And then do exactly the same thing for the opposite side. Just up to that first score line. Okay, now we're going to assemble our box on the little part that's the, small, the shortest piece. You're going to go ahead and attach your um, double-sided tape to that. Fold your box over till it meets into that little crevice right there and fold that piece over and glue that down. And then we're just going to put our, to start gluing our flaps in. So go ahead and fold them all over and then we're just going to put a piece of double sided tape on there to hold that shut. And you want to end um, the, the top flap facing to the bottom part of the box.
So fold all your pieces in and then just fold that and then to fold the top flap where it faces towards the bottom part of the box. And do the same thing on that side as well. Okay, next I'm just going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut about a half inch slit right down the center. And then I'm going to cut some little slits on both corners of it so I could tuck this in to make a flap to open this up. And this is how we're going to make the little pocket where we can put our um, Valentine's in. I'm just going to take some two inch by half inch pieces of um, scrapbook paper and fold them in half to kind of make like cards in there. So if you were to shake it, it'd sound like there were some cards. So I'm just going to cut two little Valentine cards out and I've given you the link to these in the description below and I'm just going to kind of cut around them where there's a little overhang on both all the way around it. And then I'm just going to attach this right down. I'm just going to stick one of them right down into the box. I'm just going to bend it backwards and stick it in the box. And next I'm going to take some baker's twine. I'm just going to attach the heart right to his hat. I'm just going to run it through, loop it there, and then I'm just going to tie it to the bottom part of his hat. So go ahead and wrap it around there and then come back to the front. And then we're just going to tie it off in a knot and a bow. And then all I'm going to do next is I'm just going to attach one of the little um, cards to his hand. Hey, thank y'all so much for being here with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure and like and subscribe and ring that bell if you want to see future videos like this. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it.